turn in your copy of God's Word now to Exodus. I'll be reading there. Not quite all that I have in the bulletin this morning, but uh, from chapter 21. Starts on page 73 of your Pew Bibles. We'll be reading a portion of that. Chapters 21, 22, and 23 would be known as the Book of the Covenant. I'm going to try to cover all of that in the preaching of the Word this morning, but I won't be reading all of it for us. I'll begin at verse 1 of chapter 21 and read there through verse 32, and then we'll jump to uh, chapter 23. Let's give attention to God's Word. Now these are the rules that you shall set before them. When you buy a Hebrew slave, he shall serve six years, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he comes in single, he shall go out single. If he comes in married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master gives him a wife and she bears him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out alone. But the slave plainly says, I love my master, my wife, and my children. I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him to God, and he shall bring him to the door of the doorpost, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall be his slave forever. When a man sells his daughter as a slave, she shall not go out as the male slaves do. If she, ple- if she does not please her master who has designated her for himself, then he shall let her be redeemed. He shall have no right to sell her to a foreign people, since he has broken faith with her. If he designates her for his son, he shall deal with her as with a daughter. 